All right. Hello. Good to see you. Welcome back, everyone, to the Road to 100 series. Uh, this is episode 59, so we're getting pretty close to 100 episodes. A uh, couple more weeks and we'll be there. Uh, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, we're making our way through. Uh, we're getting pretty close to uh, 26 stars uh, as we are starting here in the City of the Falling Flame with all the, the beauty that is here in this area. Uh, so tonight we're going to be running, uh, or today or whatever time it is, uh, we're going to be running Scout uh, with Prismatic Veil as this is um, an interesting gift that... Uh, it tells you that it increases weapon defense against elemental attacks. So what does that even mean? Well, let's go ahead and see here. And we'll look at what our um, uh, oops, our weapon stats are. So we have um, 45 in blood defense, 45 in ice defense, 45 in fire defense, and 60 in lightning defense. So, okay, what is, what is that? normally up against so this kind of doesn't make any sense unless you have a reference so let's look at the reference of what this is and you see there we have um, zero 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 for blood ice and fire and we have 15 for lightning so it adds a 15 um, sorry it adds 45 uh, defensive um, ability to each of your elemental uh, damage defenses for the blade itself so we will have uh, really good fire. We'll have 45 fire defense, uh, plus we'll have flame protection, elemental wall, and our fireproof tonic paired with the bewitching thorn fire to give us uh, really high fire resistance as we go through here, and we'll be doing uh, lightning damage along the way. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get uh, all our things going. And uh, since this is sort of just a uh, kind of a run where, uh, you know, we relax as we go through the... Um, uh, through the uh, City of the Falling Flame here. Um, you know, it's kind of just a, a no-brain run. And as you see there, we took uh, a little bit of damage um, from from uh, getting attacked by this guy. However, it uh, doesn't really matter uh, since it's such a little amount of damage that uh, we won't even notice it uh, as we continue forward here. So you'll notice that we'll ha we have um, quick mobility as well. Uh, so that's great, uh, paired with the Fulman Blade, uh, since we will be um, doing, uh, hopefully, a whole bunch of uh, damage to these guys here uh, as we uh, run past them and we do backstabs, uh, we will be able to get in and out of uh, different areas quickly. So let's do a charge attack on this guy and get our lightning damage going. Uh, however, the fact of the matter is, is that as we're uh, running through these areas, We'll just continue applying our uh, elemental resistance, and we should be fine. As as one does as we run through the city of the falling flame. Okay, let's go for a severing abyss. For some reason, we hit the wall, so we didn't uh, get the damage, the full damage of the severing abyss off. Let's go for a drain on this guy, and kill the monkey while he's down. That's the best time to kill the monkey. He's gonna come out. Okay, Yakumo uh, hit him into the corner there. As we saw last episode, uh, Yakumo can handle himself uh, very well. So we'll go ahead and keep running here. Now when we get to the um, the blue uh, flame Atronach kind of guys, uh, we'll be able to uh, block him uh, with Prismatic Veil, since we'll have uh, increased um, uh, fire defense on our blade. We'll just go ahead and load up here on i as, as we can right now. Yakumo's dodging in and out of the fire here, which is very nice for us. Okay, let's get elemental wall going. And we'll go for some backstabs on these these guys. Okay, there's another backstab. So this is kind of the, uh, you know, the, the lame uh, way to go through here. But uh, who cares, right? Because uh, we're most interested in simply just getting through here, as this is uh, kind of one of those areas where you can relax and chat about life and see how how uh, everything's going with everyone, and uh, you just you just don't need to take this area too seriously. 
always remember the chemical light here <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, so you'll notice that I've been experimenting with frame rates, with resolutions. Uh, I want to get you guys the highest possible quality of uh, what video to watch while not uh, completely destroying uh, my hard drives and taking up, you know, bundles and bundles and bundles of, uh, of space. That last video, episode 50, uh, uh, 58, was uh, 15 gigabytes of, of, of data that uh, I had to store somewhere, so that was a little bit much for me. I didn't realize it would be that much at 60 frames. Uh, I hope you enjoy 60 frames, but uh, we'll probably be running 30 frames, and if this works out uh, better at the higher resolution, uh, at a lower frame rate, then uh, maybe we'll continue with the higher resolution here uh, to get you guys some, some really good uh, high quality content, uh, as well as uh, still enjoying, uh, you know, not completely bricking my computer. Oops. Uh, so we'll go for uh, a tonic here. And we'll go for a drain uh, activator. See, so we can uh, we can block him now a little bit. And since we have prismatic veil going, we can also block uh, you know his his weapon strikes a lot more. And we have uh, a much higher resistance to fire now, since our weapon also resists fire as well as um, our our body. <laughs> Let's go for some more uh, backstabs. So we can uh, go ahead and get Yakumo's communal. And we're going to take a hit here. That's fine. Now we can block all these. And we'll get a launch on him as soon as as soon as we get focused. We'll go ahead and get a bunch of I-Core back. And there's a severing abyss for him. We'll go ahead and get a launch if we can. Ran out of time. Okay, we still got Prismatic Veil going. We still got all our gifts going. That's good. Let's see if we. Oh, okay. Good job, Yakumo. And always go for the heal here if you can, since there's a regen inducer right here. Okay, let's go ahead and hop up the ladder here. Now, uh, since we're doing uh, lightning damage when we get uh, charge attack on our uh, sword. Um, it's not really the uh, weakness of this area, so it's just kind of average damage. Uh, it's kind of actually um, not helping uh, in any way, but that's okay. We'll go for monkeys here. Now the monkeys here uh, do flame damage, I believe. They don't do inhibit like they do in the uh, cathedral. So here you definitely want to be going for the uh, elemental resistances of fire. Now we should be blocking here to make use of uh, Yakumo's communal. But we'll go ahead and uh, just kill those guys outright. And uh, again, Yakumo's communal is kind of lackluster. Uh, I still haven't found a um, extremely great use case for it, uh, simply because of the fact that it, it doesn't really um, boost too much uh, in the way of uh, how, how to be used effectively. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and drink some water here. I'm getting a little thirsty. Uh, I hope you're all drinking water or some beverage of your choice. Let me know down in the comments what you prefer to, ooh, what you prefer to drink uh, whenever you play Code Vein. As uh, I'm sure everybody has a, a different opinion of What's a good drink and what's not? Oh my goodness, I can't believe we died to this guy. Wow, that's a, a blunder and a half right there. Uh, but that's okay, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll get through it. And uh, the best way to get through it is just to do a run back. Oh, we're right here anyways. Okay, so let's get our gifts going. Now, Prismatic Veil is not exactly um, uh, any kind of crazy amazing um uh crazy amazing gift as it uh you know doesn't really allow uh for a whole lot of utility anywhere else in the game really um maybe right there was a was a good use of it simply because we um i don't know i don't know <laughs> it's a it's a very interesting gift uh, in the event that uh you come up against somebody who's doing a lot of elemental attacks 
but the fact of the matter is, is there's not really a lot of those uh, kind of attacks in the game where they're pure elemental, uh, where you need extra weapon defense in the elemental realm. Um, okay. It's interesting to know that it does 45 uh, additive uh, defense to uh, to your weapon for all the blood, all the uh, elemental types. Uh, however, uh, like I said, I mean, if if you can block the enemy 100% with a weapon, I mean, why do you need to do elemental block? Uh, maybe I'm missing something on that, but um, it just doesn't look like uh, there's a whole lot of uh, use cases uh, associated with that. So we'll run on up here, come up to the ball, and since we get a pretty good amount of Icor back on block, we'll go ahead and block him a little bit, or just let Yakumo kill him outright. That's uh, even better. So we'll block these guys. Yep, I heard him coming, I was trying to turn around. Now these guys are kind of hard uh, to block because they come from behind you as well. Okay, we've got a Severing Abyss there. I know you couldn't see it, but we did. All right, let's go for a Flame Tonic, Fireproof Tonic, since that adds uh, 20 to our Flame Defense. But we'll go for some uh, Backstabs here on this guy, and we'll block this guy, and we'll go for a Backstab on him as well. Get some of that I core back. There we go. Okay, let's go for a Backstab on this guy. And we'll let Yakumo just uh, do his thing over there with the flame guy. Guess we didn't get a backstab on him after all. Go for elemental wall and gift extension. Okay. We'll just dodge this guy's bullet uh, since he's pretty easy to read. Now, again, the City of the Falling Flame is just kind of a, a relaxing kind of a place when you uh, run flame resistance. Uh, so... Now, I don't understand why this is a uh, flame here, but it is. I think it's uh, some kind of a little bug, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, Mr. Flame Atronek. Okay, okay. And uh, remember to not go past the uh, wall here with the opening, since um, the uh, balls will come and get you. Okay, let's go ahead and block him a little bit. Since we have... Uh, Prismatic mail going. This will give us extra flame uh, resistance on our weapon. And we'll get i back. I guess uh, this guy could be one of the... One of the uh, enemies that could go ahead and... Um, give you uh, extra flame resistance and that's beneficial. But he can't even hit us. Okay. And we're almost focused, so we can get a launch on him. If he hits us one more time. Uh, Yak <laughs> Yakumo's gonna go for the for the attack there. And go for the kill. Okay. Okay. That was unfortunate. Okay. Let's go for this ball. Where's this ball? There we go. We'll block it, and we'll go ahead and take it down right quick. Okay, so yeah, not a lot of interesting things here, but uh, with the with the balls and the um, the different elemental resistances we have, um, it makes for some uh, just some interesting uh, different uh, gameplay. As the fact uh, that you you never really use scout, um, but it it does have uh, enough um, stats associated with it that you can use the Fulman Blade, as there's not too many blood codes that can actually uh, make use of the Fulman Blade. Now we're just going to go ahead and head on in. We don't really need to heal. We're above our um, max high core there. We'll go for this and Elemental Wall, and we'll go for a Fire Tonic and a Drain, since we'll uh, want to block here a little bit to get some Icor back, since we have Drain Rating up, Guard Drain Rating up. And uh, we'll see if we can get uh, Yakumo's communal going, if, if at all possible. We'll see how this goes. Now, if you are watching this uh, video, then um, uh, we are at the hospital. 
Okay. So we definitely would need to get our um, our uh, gifts going here. See, so since we have um, perfect block, I don't know what uh, Prismatic Veil would do for us since we block the attacks anyways. So it's kind of confusing why um, why you would need uh, flame resistance on your weapon when you have perfect block anyways. Maybe it uh, adds to your... Um, Maybe it adds to your flame uh, ability or your your weapon defense as well. Um, maybe like if you have 55 in the other um, the other categories, then you could go for uh, you know they they add together or something. I'm not exactly sure. So that's kind of a, a strange phenomenon there for for me to understand. Oh. Okay, and let's go for a charge attack. Oh, we missed. Okay, now we've got lightning damage associated with our weapon. So let's go ahead and block some more. Uh, see if we can block these. Let's go for elemental wall for Yakumo. Now he can die in this fight. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and block these attacks, we get hit from the back, that's fine, and we're focused now, can we get a launch, <laughs> nope, we can't launch the bosses, that's a good thing, okay let's go for a severing abyss, okay let's block some attacks here, get some I-Core back maybe, Mmm, Yakumo's staggering here pretty good. Whoa. Wow, Yakumo's slow there. Okay. Well, that was a failed attempt. Oh well. It's uh, pretty easy to get the run back here on her, which is nice. Okay. We'll head on over here. We'll head on in. We'll get our gifts going. And uh, since this fight is uh, pretty lackluster, pretty boring, um, you know, <laughs> we're just gonna do what it is. But uh, yeah, we died, so that's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, so we will be at the hospital today, um, and uh, hopefully. All goes well with the birth, and uh, if uh, and there might be definitely well not might be there definitely will be a lot less videos here uh, for the um, immediate future. There uh, might be some uh, coming uh, uh, in the in the coming days, but uh, as of right now, uh, we're, I'm going to be uh, taking care of the newborn, so we'll see how she does. Okay, we'll go for uh, some of these uh, gifts here, and uh, go ahead and heal up a little bit, so we don't die again. That was pretty embarrassing. Let's go for a charge attack, and let's go for a... Oh, come on. I was in the downstroke. Okay. Now if you stand in the fire here... Um, you can uh, get focused uh, really quickly and easily. But here for this fight, it's just a hack and slash. Let's go ahead and get uh, gift extension going. Okay, and elemental wall. We'll go for a um, uh, fireproof tonic. Okay, we'll get a severing abyss. Nope. Okay, just keep chopping away. And let's go for a charge attack. That'll finish her off. Nice. Okay. Well, again, just kind of a, a lame, easy fight there. Nothing uh, too exciting. Nothing too crazy. 
but uh, Scout is pretty good to pair with the uh, Fullman Blade if you're looking for a one-handed, kind of quick, light, um, dodging um, ability, kind of a kind of a blood code that's on the mediocre side. Um, it doesn't have any real outstanding uh, uniques. It doesn't have any real outstanding um, stats across the board, but uh, it is it is interesting that it's uh, that it's where it is kind of in the game because you get Scout. Uh, and it's uh, Naomi's blood code, I believe, and uh, so you get it here where you're, where you're talking about, uh, or from the Ashen Cavern, you get Survivor and you get Scout, um, I believe. I might have to look at this here. Hmm. That's a, it's evading me right now. Um, just a second. Well, I hope the, uh, I hope the, um, higher resolution here does well, uh, for the uploads and for the, for the video itself, actually. Um. Oh, that's right. Um, Scout is, uh, Scout is found in uh, one of the depths maps I believe it's uh, I believe it's rocky ruins I think um, so it's a it's a blood code you may or may not have access to um, if you haven't done the rocky ruins as that's kind of a uh, bizarre depths map to go for um, but uh, yeah it's a it's a fairly average pretty okay blood code um, so yeah it is what it is but uh, okay so that was the City of the Falling Flame. Uh, nothing too spectacular. But uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. And uh, I'll be uh, back from the hospital. Uh, hopefully, you know, over the weekend here. So uh, hopefully this can be kind of uh, kind of a um, interesting little setup here to uh, record ahead of time so you can have something to watch even while uh, we're at the hospital or not at the hospital. So either way, uh, this should be um, kind of the format I'm going for here over the next couple days. So, okay, we'll talk to you all later. Have a great day.